What's up guys? Uh, thanks for coming back to the channel. I'm going to try to do this really, really quickly, but somewhat thoroughly. I can't really show you in the app uh, because the Ozbot is dead, but I will try my best to explain it step by step so you can go and do this yourself correctly and not freaking, uh, excuse me, not go crazy trying to update this thing ultimately giving up so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by this this is going to be step number one to updating your phone's software for the studio app and then ultimately leading up to the update of your Ozbot itself the firmware then we can move on to the later things and eventually get hooked up doing the live streaming that we all want to do so first things first we are going to travel the uh, Ozbot, the Obsbot store. I keep saying it wrong. I don't know. It's pissing me off, kind of. Anyway, you're going to go to the main website. You're going to go to downloads. Very important. The first thing in this step you need to do is to update your, uh, your uh, phone's app software. So if you got Android, click on Android. If you have uh, Apple uh, phone or whatever, use that. I would suggest that you travel to this website on your phone to download this APK. It would just be a lot easier and faster. So once you download one of those, right, you're gonna open it up and it's gonna ask you to install it and to override your previous, uh, your previous phone's edition of that software. Hit yes, install it. Once you do that, you should be good. So the next step is you're going to then log in. I'm going to try to show you as I can. You're going to try to log in, right? You're going to try to log in. And then you're simply going to click on the very right corner um, of the screen. And it's going to take you to the settings. Once you get to the settings, you're going to, you're going to scroll all the way down until you see the About Obsbot uh, tab. You're going to click on that. Now, once you click on that, your app version, which is underneath the firmware version, should be completely updated. As of right now, mine says 1.0.30-24. So for everybody who's watching this until they update it again, that's what it should read. Um, when a newer version comes out, you need to re redo this process and ultimately do the same thing. Repeat these steps. So once your app is updated, the next thing you want to do is click on your firmware version. Once you click on your firmware version, it will prompt you to upgrade your firmware if you haven't already. Once you do this, don't be alarmed. Um, you don't need to turn on your Obsbot yet, but don't be alarmed. It's going to start downloading. I have gigabit internet, and as I was downloading it, it kept telling me that my service was slow. I was like, no, you're dumb. It's not slow. Literally got like the fastest internet around. So it will keep doing that. It will keep kicking you out. All you have to do is keep going back in and hitting start download again, and it will leave off where it left off. When it is 100% complete, it will now give you instruction, right? It will now give you instruction on how to apply the update. Basically, it will say, this is going to happen. Your lights are going to flash, blah, blah, blah. You're going to say, okay, got it. And you will see the screen. Uh, it will tell you in fine print, do not stay connected to the Obsbot while it is updating. For some reason, when it starts to update, 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 I kept forgetting to disconnect the, the, the Wi-Fi connection with the Obsbot. You have to do that immediately. I don't know why Android's don't do it immediately. I don't know if there's the same problem on iOS, but I had to immediately just undo the Obsbot connection. Um, once you do that, oh, you, well, your device does have to be on. I'm sorry. Your device does have to be on, obviously, for it to start receiving the upgrade. I think, no. I guess it doesn't have to be. Technically, it doesn't have to be. Mine was... Uh, because I hadn't been doing these steps far too long. So, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, turned on. 
Um, but once it's upgrading, it will then tell you after it's done upgrading to reestablish your connection with the Ozbot. So how you do that basically is turn on your Ozbot once it is completely done and then connect to its Wi-Fi signal. All right. Once you do that, eventually on your phone, you will see a pop up. Pop. Well, I'm not showing you that because it already came up, but you'll see a pop up with a whole bunch of things that say successful, successful, successful. That means you did it successfully um, and it applied the firmware update. Um, one of the things that I've always done is when it was done upgrading, I completely closed the app and opened it back again um, because sometimes it has trouble or it doesn't it's like a, there was like a bug in there where if you just try to back out it doesn't really refresh the application so just start it over to be safe once you do that you will notice that your device you need to go again to your settings tab hit on the about obsbot tab and then now your firmware and your software should should be uh should say updated they should be updated to the newest once you've done that connect to your obsbot like you normally do uh when you do it's going to say uh you're going to connect you're going to get into your screen and you're going to be really happy cuz you're going to be like yes everything's updated let me hit streaming well you can hit streaming if you want to and it's going to tell you you must change this out of AP mode into STA mode. This is, when I got to this step, I was like, what the? One second. All right, so I lost my train of thought, had that phone call. But anyway, um, once you get to the window that tells you to switch to the STA mode, it's also going to say something about make sure your aspect ratio is 16 by 9 slash 9 by 16. Probably going to be like, what the hell? What the hell? So next thing you need to do is you need to back out of that tab and then go to where it says AP right above that, the mode. Once you click on that mode, you're going to click on STA, obviously, naturally. When you do that, it's going to bring you to another screen that says input your... Uh, your Wi-Fi ID and your Wi-Fi password. Now, naturally, I thought that it was talking about the Obsbot. Um, I keep wanting to say Osmo for some reason. <laughs> the Obsbot uh, Wi-Fi ID name and Wi-Fi password. That's what I thought it was. So I did it like four or five times. Couldn't figure out why I was not accepting it. And then something said to me, well, maybe I should try my own home's Wi-Fi ID and Wi-Fi password. Well, that is what you need to do. Once you correctly input the name of your Wi-Fi ID and correctly input the, the password for your Wi-Fi ID um, to access your internet, it will say successful. But, but, but right before it says successful, you will know that it worked because if you look at your Ozbot, it will now beep and it will show a purple. It will show, it will, it will be blinking. Well, it won't be blinking, but it'll be a solid purple. Um, and you'll be like, what the hell? I've never seen it turn that color before. Um, that means you're, you've successfully switched it over to STA. So now you're probably figuring out, trying to figure out what do I do next? Well, at this point you can back out and then go into streaming options, that streaming options tab, and then set up your accounts, like your YouTube, it's pretty straightforward, and they have uh, the other custom um, connection there. I only tried out the YouTube because I was only able to do that briefly before the Ozbot, Ozbot went dead. It's charging now can't try anything else until it's done charging. So if you've gotten to this point and you've gotten set up, the next thing that you probably want to do is try to figure out what resolutions you can stream at. I tried 4K60. It did not work. The, the highest it gave me was 720p. So I don't know if that's the limit. 
or if that is, I don't know. I didn't get a chance to play with it before it died, but, you know, I got about five minutes in of streaming before I try to back out and figure out if I can change the, the, uh, the resolution settings. So that's how you technically get this done. Like I said, first step, update your studio app to the latest software update. Next step, update your firmware for your OBSBOT. Once you have done that, sign in to your OBSBOT like you normally do to record. When you get there, you need to immediately change the mode from AP to STA. Once you've done that, we'll ask you to input your uh, Wi-Fi's ID, your home Wi-Fi ID and password. Once you've done that, it will tell you that you've successfully connect, uh, collect, connected your OBSBOT to your home Wi-Fi. Once you've done that, you can now successfully sh live stream from YouTube or your own custom whatever, like Facebook. Personally, I use Restream that because you can put all the apps or all the different services like Twitch and all that stuff, roll it into one stream key and address, and then you'll be able to broadcast to all of them at one time versus just YouTube. So that is how I figured it out. If you need any help, please just contact me. Um, make sure you leave a like, a thumbs up, and uh, if you found this helpful. Again, nobody has done this on the internet. There's only one other video, and he didn't really even explain it while he was doing the video. And he only tried to type it out, but that doesn't really, it didn't really help. It was too vague. So hopefully this helps you. It's a little more in depth. Um, you didn't think this was helpful and you found a different way, please enlighten us. But if you do come out and say you found a different way, I'm going to be very upset because you never put out a video to instruct people how you did it. So don't be pissed at me because I'm trying to help out the community. There's been quite a few people that I know who gave up, sent their shit back because they they couldn't get it connected to live stream. So the 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 big thing that makes me upset about Obsbot is that they don't really have any technical support when it comes to really identifying the issues and step by step helping people connect to uh, connect into to to really uh, navigate. Uh, the troubleshooting aspect of getting your, your stuff set up on the app. It's a little confusing. It's a little buggy. So, you know, just take your time. Uh, try to find the answers. I, like I said, I stayed up for all night uh, when I was at work trying to figure out what I need to do to connect the damn thing to streaming. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully this helps you go back through the steps. Like I said, you should be good. Anyways, catch you guys later. I'm not going to say peace.